Happy New Year, everyone. We made it to 2022. Yep, we made it. Well, I mean, you made it. I made it. I mean, so there's also that. So, wow. Wow. Just wow, right? For 2021. So, anywho. So, I know we're all still in that energy, but I just wanted to give you a quick personal message to say hello and how are you and I plan on doing a few more of these because they're a little more succinct um and yeah so I just wanted to say hello I have been doing loads of organizing on my end and reshuffling and home editing and life editing I told you guys um last month to embrace the life edit and really start to pick and choose the things that made sense to continue to have in your space and also to discern what no longer belongs. And for me, one of those things was just like really doing the work to do an internal cleansing of the home um, and editing of the home so that I could set it up in a way that is far more functional. And when we're doing these things that are in the home, um, they actually are reminders to the inner life of, of our own, of what's necessary on the inside as well. And so I invite you to really step into um, paring things down to, you know, setting up that room that you wanted to set up. You know, of course, I'm, I'm talking to you right now from my office and I'm so excited that my office is finally like set up properly. Um, and then the, the, our, the grounding room or the indoor shala or home shala is set up in a way that lends itself more to a lot of the, you know, um, uh, projects that have a larger reach. And so, yeah, I mean, it's kind of like buying that briefcase before you have the job or buying the suit for the job before you have the job. I mean, if we're not actually creating the space for the magic to happen, will the magic ever happen? Um, <clears throat> so I'm doing that currently and, um, and I'm really excited about that. And um, I'm also excited about doing some shifts and some changes. I'm really getting um, curious around what my goals are and really moving away from what I think should happen or appeasing uh, a lot of folks that were or that are around me and how I think that I can um, you know do for them that when it is not doing for me so I'm doing a lot of editing right now to my current schedule and the types of projects that I'm willing to get involved with um, so what that looks like currently, there are some shifts and changes. So for example, um, currently I am not going to be teaching on the Insight Timer um, platform. It is a, a very uh, saturated platform. And for me right now, it's not the best um, use of my time, even though I am so grateful for the people that it brought to my life. Um, some of whom are current trainees, some of whom are, are current students on the Asha Yoga platform, just you know, it's just, it's just incredible. And there is a time for everything. And right now paring down presence there means being able to up my presence elsewhere. And where that elsewhere is taking place is YouTube. So I'm building out the YouTube platform in these really short, um, easily consumable um, practices so that whenever you have 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes, you can get into a practice. And there will be a few longer practices out there, but for the most part, if you want a long practice, then you'll, you'll um, need to shift over to the Asha Yoga platform. I'm also expanding the Asha Yoga platform to include more, diver more diverse teachers and more teachers in general. Um, and the Asha Yoga platform is going to be more of an on-demand um, format that has been in the plan and in the works for a while, and now it is, is in development. So when you become a member of Asha Yoga at home, you will actually have access to um, uh, various teachers, various styles. There'll be rocket yoga, ashtanga. There'll be, um, of course, yin yoga, restorative yoga. There will be vinyasa flow, power flow, all, all of the things, guided yoga nidra and things like that. So that is, that is happening. So that asha yoga at home bit is different than, um, than the, than 
you know, signing up for like um, Asha Yoga live classes is fully on demand and that's where we're shifting. And just to give you a heads up to where we're going with all of that is eventually you'll be able to practice in various languages. Um, and of course, the first one that is coming is already available actually is in Spanish. And then there will be more added um, because it's really important for me to, as a part of like re-indigenizing spaces and re-minoritizing spaces, to actually provide practices in people's language of origin or their native tongues. So that will be happening as well. Um, as many of you have seen, I've become a contributor to Yoga Journal and I'm really excited about that. That is expanding this year as well. And um, I'm incredibly excited about a talk that I'll be having. I'll be curating a conversation with Jessamine Stanley regarding her newest book, Yoke. Um, this is her second book, and it is really talking about kind of the yoga of life and how um, being a full figure queer black woman in the United States has informed her yoga journey and how she was able to use yoga to embrace um, herself and, and, and her own journey. And so even though it's very specific to her journey, there are ways that are, there are things that are going to be incredibly um, informative and um, to your own practice. So that conversation is being uh, provided by the San Francisco Public Library and it's taking place in February. I'm super excited about it. So please do, um, do join us. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be recorded, but I do know that it's available that day. And pick up the book Yoke and we can discuss it. Um, <clears throat> things in person for, for now, unless, uh, all of the things line up, whether the whole, everything, I'm not having in class, uh, practices at, or in person classes. Um, there's a possibility that I'll be teaching, um, in a public space that is outdoors very soon, but that's still under construction. So just to let you know that I'm really enjoying um, teaching in this format where we can practice at home and continue to cultivate our deeper practices by um, being in our home practice. Um, and if you're still reluctant to that, that's fine. There are plenty of opportunities in studios where um, I feel, you know, well, not plenty. There are a handful of studios where that I could recommend that I feel that you, you could be safe fish while you're there, but for the most part, I'm laying low um, until this uh, current spike goes away and then we'll go from there. To that end, um, six months from now, we're not gonna be in a spike. Um, according to just the ebb and flow of how this pandemic has been going, it seems to calm right um, after the school year ends and then it peaks again at the, you know, the end of July, beginning of August and goes into full-fledged whatever fuckery in September. So um, in July, we will be in, in um, Somerset, the home, the setting of all of the best like English um, countryside films. I'm super excited about it because I've never been there. And there will be opportunities to um, travel with me um, before that retreat or after, depending on if you want to explore more of the UK or if you want to explore um, some of Spain, because my goal is to go to Spain after or before. Actually, I'm not quite sure. I better talk to Lenny about that one. Um, to that end, I'll be abroad most of um, the month of July. And so just know that that's happening. And so there will be some shifts and pivots there. Woo! Okay. And with respect to the um, Asha Yoga platform, there are some shifts there. Um, one of our teachers is retiring, who we love. Um, she's retiring from teaching. And so we are so excited about that the opportunity for someone to be able to retire in this type of environment. And it also creates opportunities for other people to teach on the platform. So that's coming. So just look for those announcements. Well, I am now getting phone calls from people. So I guess it is time for me to wrap up this little conversation. Um, but what I do want to just um, say is, you know, if, if something really isn't working for you, um, one of my teachers, you know, says that we, we have to be willing to let go of things, um, 
and have faith, you know, on the other side of that release. And so that's really what I am doing right now is um, being okay with walking away from, you know, relationships, professional situations, anything that doesn't really feel additive right now. I, I feel like we're giving a lot. Um, we're being asked to do a lot. And so for me, if it is not additive, then it does not belong in my life. Um, I think that there are times in which we are meant to be stretched and we are meant to grow and we are meant to see what's on the other side of discomfort. I do not think that that is an imbalanced relationship with, with your job or with, um, with anything. So, so for, for me, like compensation matters. And if I don't feel that I'm being well compensated for what I am doing, um, in, in one way, shape or form, be it through the energetic exchange or be it through the actual financial compensation, that's not going to work for me right now. Right now I need to be in a mode of um, feeling really supported um, so that, because I'm doing a lot of support of the community. And so that support, that mutual care makes a difference for how I can show up. <clears throat> I encourage you <coughs> to um, let go of any um, self-limiting beliefs around that and to really be in, um, in a co-boundary space, or in other words, a space that feels mutually reparative, mutually additive, mutually supportive. And if it's not that, then it's time to either jump ship or plan to jump ship, you know? Um, and that can be scary, but I'm telling you, I've done this before. I did this in 2019 and guess what? 2020 was the pandemic and uh, life would be a lot more difficult. I would not be able to be right here in front of you if I would not have closed the chapter on secondary education in 2019. Um, so whatever it is that you're feeling compelled to do, know that there is something, there's something urging you or compelling you to do that, that is beyond you. And if it's just, if it's fatigue, you know, if it's fear, if it's something like that, I mean, that can be different. Sit with that. Yeah. Or rest or give yourself what you need. But when you're like, no, I'm, this is no longer for me. It's time to go ahead and move on. Um, you're no longer going to be serving yourself and you're no longer going to be operating from a place in which you can serve others. So I hope that, that, that if you needed to hear that, that that really lands in your spirit. Um, and I so look forward to seeing, um, you all in healthier, more well-rounded, grounded capacities as we move through, um, 2022. Have an amazing day and I look forward to seeing you soon. I'll be posting other opportunities to gather and see one another below. Cheers.